What's up, CL fam? So you know how we've been doing like the best reviewed, worst reviewed? Well, today we're in South Wales. It took us four hours to get here. Four and, and we are oh, Four and a half. And we are going to the worst reviewed theme park in the UK. Now, there's a lot of theme parks in the UK, so this has to be pretty bad. Now, we like to start these videos by reading some reviews from other paying customers. And I will start by saying the price was incredible. I already have a critique, right? We're going in non-peak time, yet the price that they make you pay is the same as going in peak time, but in peak, you get to stay until 8 p.m. whereas we have to go out by At half four. four, half four. So it better be decent. So there are over 500 one-star reviews on this park, which Actually. is ridiculous. There's more bad reviews than good reviews. So let's start at the top. Go on, babe, do the honors. This park is overpriced and seriously underfunded. How can that be in the same sentence? You're charging that much for a ticket, but you're not putting the money back into the park. The park is looking tired, tatty, old attractions, rebranded. It's done so cheaply with a printed card stick over. Someone else said, don't go until they've sorted out capacity and queue issues. I watched a video on YouTube and someone did a review of the park and they said, even if they were in peak time, they were waiting an hour and a half for each ride, which is ridiculous at a theme park of this like statue because it's not like Alton Towers or Thorpe Park. We understand it's a bit lower down the uh, the scale of theme parks. However, an hour and a half for a queue, you would expect that at Alton Towers and Thorpe Park. You wouldn't expect that here. I'd like to just say that last two reviews reviews we've read are from this month of this year as well. Great. As long as the rides don't fall apart whilst we're on them, I don't think it'll be too bad. Please, please, if there's a god. Organisation needs a complete overhaul. The whole experience was abysmal. Abysmal. Now, when do you hear people use that word anymore? It's, it must have been bad. It's bad enough to be faced with lengthy queues due to COVID restrictions, but then faced with fast paths. Fast pass users continually and repeatedly using the system with numerous fan I didn't know there was a fast pass, by the way. Yeah, we might have to go in and have a little have a little look at buying a fast pass because if she's saying that the queues for Reggie's are it, it shouldn't be too busy. It's just finished half term. It shouldn't be many she people could there. She have been there during half term. I think she probably was. Yeah. Or in a busy period. We went to Oakwood today and it was such a disappointment. I have three kids with me and the whole day we only managed to get on three rides because of the queues. It's all the queues. Now it probably was half term, so yeah, it's gonna be queuing. The food is awful, the toilets are disgusting. The price of food and drink is extortionate. Let's just go. I and paid less for a meal and a drink at Euro Disney. <gasps> I'm so excited. When you can go to Disneyland for cheaper. Literally. Oh, good. Is that you? Right, listen. Let's go. Let's see if these reviews are real. And let's. Uh, we're going to give you a full in depth tour of the park. We're going to go on as many rides as possible. Let's go. Is it, is it definitely open? It looks. Um, it looks dead. We've got today that's just closed. Can you imagine? No, the car park's got cars. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have arrived. First impressions. This is my first impression. Oh, that's your first impression. Okay, so the outside, like the reception-y area where you walk in, there's nobody there and it looks like an aquarium. There is also quite a few cars, but I think it still will be dead because obviously it's the first day after half term. So the it's car park's the not very full. But how big's the it park? It is considering. Oh yeah, true. Is the park big or small? Yeah, because there's not much car park left. Well, it's certainly not a grand entrance. I mean, just look at it. But there is a roller coaster there that looks promising. Tell me it doesn't look like an aquarium, like we're going into an aquarium. Yeah, well, no, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's it's a bit boring, isn't it? So we're in. It wasn't the grandest of entrances. <laughs> I don't see anyone. We walked up to the window. She scanned our barcode and we just walked straight through. She didn't even look through. us in the face. She didn't no. even talk to us or anything. No, she I was think like... she was a little bit um, introvert. Basically what we're here to do is just think about the reviews that we looked at earlier and kind of see if they're true to life. And they're all very recent, so I'd be very surprised if people are lying. We're going to get a first account here. All right, we have come across our first attraction. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is the world's famous, world's first famous right. Dry water ride. <laughs> I want five percent of my money back just for that. Just for the fact that we can't go on this. It right. actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? Look at the drop. That's pretty big. Yeah. If this was running, I'd be all over it. It's so quiet so far. I don't know if we're like anywhere near it, but apparently the toilets are really bad and they're just over there. So we're gonna we're gonna start with the toilets. Yeah, let's have a look at these toilets and see if the cam. reviews are right. Phone cam. I can confirm that this one is nowhere near as bad as people were making out. 
could be on about a different one. Which way do we go? I don't know. This isn't like Alton <laughs> Towers where they've got oh, signposts and stuff. Okay, guys, we're about to go on our first ride. Megaphobia, how are you feeling? Are you feeling a megaphobia? I'll be completely honest, there's not much. There's not much. To look at. No, it's a very boring bland part. What is that monstrosity? That's what we're going on? Yeah, I think so. A big wooden thing? Yeah. Oh. I have been in this queue for three hours. No, you haven't. Don't, babe, I'm trying to exaggerate the truth here. So we've been in this queue for 17.3 hours. No, we haven't. 14.2 no, hours. No, we haven't. One hour, 45 minutes. Oh, 15 minutes. 15 <laughs> minutes, but it feels like 17 hours. Many, many minutes later. Still queuing for a wooden coaster. Don't queue this long at Alton Towers. Don't take your jumper off. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about the queue. Okie dokie. So, the reviews were correct. Excuse me, I'm trying to vlog here. What's that noise then? So we were queuing for about 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes. Yes. And they're only running one... I put a timer on, but we've already been 15 minutes. One so thing. Almost an hour we were queuing for that. And yeah, there was only one cart running. So we had to wait for ages and obviously they have to wipe it down in between COVID and stuff, which is fine. I but have to say though, it was a good run. It was amazing. Though. And it because was... we couldn't show you, we got a picture. We paid for a, a fridge magnet so we can show you guys how excited we were on this ride. This was eight pounds. Look at the quality. <laughs> look at the quality. <laughs> but just look at that picture. That is just absolutely beautiful. You can just really see in our faces how much fun we're having. And now we're going on a little pedalo. So we'll see you in a minute. Tell you what, see how fun this is lovely. <laughs> I'm sure it is. This is lovely. I'm just chilling on a pedalo, taking in the scenes. This is really hurting my leg. What are you moaning at? <laughs> Why are you not helping me? Leon is currently doing the pedaling and the steering, and uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but you know, maybe I would have let you off if you learned how to drive a car and you didn't have to drive four and a half hours to Wales, and maybe I would have been the driver. Okay, I'll help, I'll help. My, my big fat shoes don't fit there. Yeah, get to pedaling, babe. He's a steerer. Look how dangerous this is. What if I like drop, what if I drop the camera in the water? How would you feel? Sad. Do you know what? The last two things that we've done, this and the roller coaster, hey, I'd say, well. yeah, I'd say warrants about a fiver. A five pound note? About a fiver. Got a fan over there. Got a CL fan? Oh, this is just oh. lovely. Hey, I'm getting quads. Oh, you really I would get a nice scenic picture of you. <laughs> oh my god, you couldn't make it up, guys. This is also closed down. What are we saying? That's that two. Like hey, this is the only thing I came for. I've been on that thing at Drayton Manor. It's the same kind of thing. A <laughs> little bit uh, smaller, I'd say. Babe, what? What? What's wrong? Are you hungry? It is time to review. Are we going to get a food review with Liana? Oh, really we asked them. Um, we asked some CL fan when we took a picture. Where should we eat? And they, and they said, said woodies. They said woodies, but they said stay away from there because of the seagulls. These guys are the cutest. I just went on megaphobia. How was it? Oh, the one with the steep hill. Yes, these lads have been on that five times or something. You said that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I bet the queue is so long. Is it worth queuing for? Yeah, there's no queue. Really? Yeah, like oh. We queued for the other one for ages. Yeah, we were queuing for an hour in the First other one. We got megaphobia. 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 Yeah, it, it took two hours. hours. The queue was massive. Was we'll have to go over there and do yeah, that after we've eaten So we've just had food from here. Five hygiene. But the burger, we saw a video, someone did the review of here, and it was really, really bad, wasn't it? And so. there's seagulls everywhere stealing there's, chips from people. There's, they're, they're like Whoa! Yes. So we need to move. We need to go. Hold on, hold on. Q, food review with Liana, title card, go. Okay, babe, so we're gonna do you first and let's see what the food's saying. We've, uh, we've walked away from the seagulls and I'm just hoping that they don't follow us. We haven't heard too much about the food on the reviews, apart from the fact that it's expensive, which it was, because what was that? 17 pounds? Was that 17 pounds? For a fish finger sandwich oh my God. and a burger. The chips are nice, maybe if they were salted, they'd be nicer. Okay, nice. Ew, there's stuff in, oh, there's mustard in oh. it. Oh, I hate mustard. You should have said no mustard. Didn't say Let me see inside in of that again. It looks like someone's come off a ride and threw up in the- The burger doesn't look nice, does it? Uh, you know what? We could be pleasantly surprised. Give it a give it a taste test. There's a seagull eyeing you up, by the way. So he's getting closer. What we're we saying? It can't be that bad. It's like a fair burger, or is it worse than a fair burger? Worse than a fair burger. Really? Hey, hey, listen here, mate. <laughs> off. I'll chase you. You you cut you cover that food because I haven't done my review yet. How we get it in? Hot. No flavour. No flavour. 
Horrible, uh. horrible, horrible. <laughs> what the hell is that? Hey, it's a filio fish. Is it good? It's actually all right. <laughs> bye bye, like Jean. 17 pound, but it's all right. And that concludes. <laughs> He's making you. his way around. He's going, he's it's like, like I was just about to say, it's like pod. It's all right. If anything would make this worse. This is it. a meet and greet. It's mate. the amount of CL fam that we've met today, and it's literally put the biggest smile <laughs> on my face. It's amazing, but I'm like, we only have a two hours until it closes. We need we're to We're trying review. to get on the rise, but we're trying Listen to take here, pictures. We are pro reviewers. Had we they? actually are. You should know this. And CL fam have given us some of their intake on the park. I didn't know we were in London. I thought we were in South Wales. Or do they have their own Big Ben? Or have they moved it? That is the biggest dad joke I have ever heard. You don't like dad jokes then? Stop it. Okay. I don't even think the camera picks it up. There what, it is. What, what is that? Over there? It actually is Big Ben. Oh my god, is that? Oh my god, there's Buckingham Palace. Oh my god, we can go on it. Can we go Elizabeth. on that? Elizabeth! Can we go on this? Elizabeth. Queen Lizzie! Queen Lizzie! What do you think about Brexit? Right, here we are. Hey, it's bigger than it looked on the videos. They had the big part closed when the other people came here. Aha! Hey, there's bowling. Oh no, it's a go-kart track that has bowling pins on it. Don't go too fast. There's a man watching. There's a man watching. This is the best one pound I've ever spent. Okay guys, well that was it. That was our review and it turns out the arcade was probably the best part. Yeah. Let, let's do a quick summary. So after we'd been to the arcade, we realized that we didn't really have too much time to do anything else. Um, and well, there really was nothing else to do. Uh, I mean, the park is, is really small. I guess we had a discussion about this and we said, if you've got children that are really young, so like way too young to go to any other parks that are bigger like Holden Towers, Thorpe Park, whatever, or if you're a local, then yeah, it probably it probably does make for a good day out, doesn't it? A little bit expensive. I was about to say that. I, like, would I pay if I had a child? Because I'd say this attracts more like families. Ooh, no. No. I'd say it attracts more like ten to thirteen year olds because their parents allow them to go in their friendship group. They could just, just hang out with their mates. Hang out with their friends yeah. and go on a couple of rides. But for what's actually there, plus the fact that you some things are still paid for inside, there's some rides that you still have to pay extra for, and the food is really expensive. Is it worth yeah. it? Not not really. Um, and that's what we were getting from most of the reviews anyway. People were saying like it was really expensive for what you get. It's not really looked after too well. No. There's no real like fun theme park you know, vibe yeah. to it. It's you know, just rides in a field. When you go to Alton Towers, you've got so much to look at. Like you've got the, the buildings on the way in, you've got the cute little fountain and it's all looked after and there's loads of green grass. And all and, the rides are themed. Like we went on the um, pedalos and it was literally the tiniest little lake. You went round in a circle and it was all dirty and yeah. horrible. Like there was nothing to look at. Basically, the park is not looked after as it should be, especially when they're getting that much per ticket. Where's the money going? But if you have a personality like Connor and Liana, you can make any situation fun. Of course you can, and the CL fan were there having a great time, so it's not like you can't have fun there, it's just if you're a little bit older and you want to go to a theme park, I suggest traveling a little bit further, I couldn't get my words out, just travel a little bit further, Alton Towers is better. definitely the best one I've been to so far. Yeah, because even Thought Park was a bit... Yeah, I prefer Alton Towers. So that's our summary, I guess. Um, we had a good day, like Liana just mm -hmm. said, we have a good day wherever we go, uh, we're just mental. Um, if you want to see us, we want to do more reviews, whether they're good or bad, so give us some ideas in the yes. comments. What, what you want to see? Review. We can go to like the worst reviewed restaurant or something. That's what I'm saying. We'll go anywhere, guys. So let us know where you want us to review and we'll do it. Even if it's something local to you, but it's something that's like really bad or really good, let us know and we'll do it. A quick shout out to some of our CL Club members Grace's lovely channel. Grass is me. Is grass you or am I grass? Yeah. Whippy Aussie 15 and Stella. Guys, thank you so much. Your dogs are absolutely adorable. If you guys want to join the CL Club, there's loads of perks, including a weekly live stream, which we've actually been slacking on. So we're going to do some extra long oh, yeah. ones. I completely forgot. Um, exactly. Listen, when we travel for these videos, sometimes it puts us off schedule because we'll we went tomorrow. on a Sunday. So yeah, we're going to go live. Tomorrow. Okay, we'll go live tomorrow. That's fine. Yeah. But we'll try and get back on track with the lives. We do it every week. We do giveaways. Just read the perks. Press the join button below. There's so many perks to CL Club. Holly's coming on Friday, so she'll be on Monday's upload? Yes. Yeah, she'll be on Monday's upload. So you guys will get to see Holly on Monday. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let us know what you think about these videos. We love them. If you like them, then we'll do more of them. And we'll see you on 
Saturday for a brand new video. We love you millions. Goodbye. <laughs>